Today's video is kind of one of those things where I wanted to do something just like on my own and then I realized, oh yeah, I have a YouTube channel, I could document this. So as you all know, I am trying to be more sustainable in any way I can, even though I know I've had this conversation a million times on my channel. Sustainable fashion can be very inaffordable. It can also not be very size inclusive. So fully acknowledging that duality, if you will. But I asked you all on Instagram a while back to send me some of your suggestions for your favorite sustainable brands. And one of the brands that I saw stick out is a brand called Lisa Says Ga, and I've seen them everywhere on YouTube, Instagram, especially TikTok. And the thing about this sustainable brand that I find interesting is that a lot of times when you find kind of these ethical sustainable brands, they produce basics, which makes sense because if you're gonna spend your hard earned money on something, you're gonna want something that's neither really gonna go in or out of style. It's just gonna be like a staple in your wardrobe, in your closet, which I totally understand. But a lot of times sustainable fashion, like the, the trends that I see aren't really exactly my style. So I thought that this would be fun to test out for those of you that want to play around with more patterns and funky trends and things like that because this is definitely the kind of Y2K but also 60s, 70s, really trendy style that I've noticed recently, kind of all wrapped up into one brand. There aren't like too many classic basics that I've seen. So I thought I would test them out myself and be your guinea pig as always and kind of see if it's worth the price point, give you my honest thought. Since I am sort of right in between those straight size and plus size worlds, I figured I could offer you my opinion on how it fits my body type. I wasn't able to purchase too many items for this video because, oh, baby is it expensive. <laughs> and I've talked about this before, oftentimes sustainable fashion is pricier because you're paying for things like a living wage for the workers and you're paying for things like ethical production and sourcing. So I believe I purchased like six or seven items. I have significantly less money than when I started, but I'm gonna try them on for you, give you my honest opinion and let you know what I think about them. So let's jump in. Okay, right off the top, I have this vest. This is called the Vera Sweater Vest in the black daisy check print. I have seen this vest everywhere. I feel like this is kind of that really trendy print. This and a different checker that I will show you in a minute are very, very on trend at the moment. And I always see kind of the cool girls, the cool sustainable gals on TikTok and Instagram wearing this. So I thought I would test it out myself. The other thing that I think I forgot to mention is that Lisa Says Ga is relatively size inclusive in some of their items. So I've seen plus size creators that I follow feature their items as well, which I think is great. So I wanted to just Support. So, okay, this is in an extra large slash 2X. This is a very adorable cropped vest. Like how cute is that? I literally am obsessed. The first thing I notice is it's very soft. I have purchased probably like four vests throughout the last year or so that vests have become super trendy again. And this is the softest by far. So for the try on, cause I want to like give you my experience as I try it on, like my fresh thoughts. I'm also going to try on a pair of pants. Now, just come down this rabbit hole with me. It's very common in most brands that I try to shop. A lot of times, like a size 14, 16, 18 is typically sold out. It's probably because it's the average size of the average American woman. So a lot of times when I shop on, say like American Eagle, extra large and double XL, always sold out. Most online retailers are that way. And I kind of had the same experience with this. So that was the one part that I found difficult because the majority of the pants that I tried to find in my size were completely sold out. I really wanted this really fun pair of daisy print blue pants, but they were sold out unfortunately. They also had a cow print pant that I really wanted. But what I did manage to find is this pair of jeans, which this is called the Robin jeans. And this is in like a really light indigo color. And here is like sort of the other part of why I'm confused. I ordered these in a size 38 because it recommended on the size chart, which I often refer to, to measure yourself. So I did measure myself and then it said to go up a size from that because they run small. It even says it on the thing, like we recommend sizing up. Everyone says it's a very tight fit. When I spoke to Alexa, she mentioned the same thing. I've never purchased a size 38 before. I typically purchase like a 32 or a 33, but then when I measured myself, I'm pretty sure it said 38, unless I read it wrong. I wasn't able to obviously like try these on in a store or anything. They do look like they might be a little big, but at the same time, are they? I don't know, I'm very confused because I'm almost positive when I measured myself, 
it said 38. I don't know. I really try not to mention measurements too often here on my channel because I know specific measurements can be really triggering for people and I want to keep that in mind and be respectful of that. But that is the size that I did get in these. So let's try both of these on together and see how they turn out. Okay, so I have thoughts as I always do. I'm gonna start with the pants. I don't know what I did wrong with the pants, but they are just way, way, way too big. Like I really thought I was doing the right thing. I have about this much to spare. Like, so I do feel like I need to try and return these for a different size because they just, they're just not the right fit. They're supposed to be like a nice tight jean. There's about, you know, half a foot of gap back here. So I guess I did it wrong. And it just goes to show that you can measure yourself and sometimes it can still be wrong. I, I'm still, a little confused. I typically can wear men's 38s in Levi's from the thrift store, so I'm confused by this, but either way, they're a really cute pair of jeans. Like if you take the fit out of it, these are an adorable pair of jeans. I actually really want to exchange them for the correct size because they just feel so different from anything I have. I love the super light color. I love the more wide leg. Like they are just a very trendy, but still like you can wear them throughout the years pair of jeans. They feel kind of 60s, 70s to me, and then this sweater vest, I actually really surprisingly like. When I first put it on, I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this sort of like almost cap sleeve type of thing, but the more I'm wearing it, the more I'm warming up to it, and I actually really like it. I think it's just the jeans that are throwing me off, but if you take that out of it and you just look at the vest, I do think it's quite adorable. I would say if you were more of a 2XL instead of an XL, it might be like less loose and oversized it might be more kind of like a tight fit, especially if you have like a bigger chest or a wider bust. So keep that in mind, but I really do like it. Feels very nice and soft. I'll have to update maybe on Instagram or in a future video when I get the right size pants, but if we're judging based off of just the way that these look alone, take the fit out of it, like eight out of 10. They're super, super cute and I can't wait to get the right size. Next up for another top, I got this one, which is called the Emma sweater. And I contemplated going back and forth between which vest I wanted to get and which sweater I wanted to get. So I decided to get this one in a sweater. Now, are you asking yourself, Carrie, you live in Arizona, why in the hell would you buy a sweater when it's gonna be a hundred degrees every day? And the answer is, I don't know. Here is what the Emma sweater looks like. It is like a kind of warped, groovy, I guess you could say psychedelic-esque checker print, but it's like this really awesome lavender color. And it has like a very slight mock neck, which I really love. I picked this up in the same size as the sweater vest. So like an XL slash 2X. So I think it's supposed to be kind of versatile size wise. I just love the way it looks. I feel like it's gonna be super, super cute. It is very thick. It's not itchy, which I really, really love, but you should keep that in mind if you don't live in a colder climate. If you live in a desert, an actual desert like me, might not be the smartest purchase, but am I gonna wear it? Absolutely. The quality feels really great. I will say of everything that I've held so far, the quality does feel amazing. And it is really, you know, these thick sweaters, that's, it's really well made. You can tell it's a thick knit. So let's see how it turns out. All right, so again, just gonna be ignoring the jeans, but I love this. This is so fun. It's like the perfect mix of sort of 80s, but sort of like psychedelic 70s, but also sort of like you're on a snow, like a ski vacation. I really do like the way this fits. I will say my only critique is that the sleeves are a little bit short. We all know your girl has wingspan. So I have just really super long arms. So I would prefer for the sleeves to be a little bit longer, but that's just like a me thing. And then also if you were more of a 2XL, sort of similar to the vest that I mentioned before, it might be a bit more of a snug fit on you. I would consider this to be more of like a size XL than a 2XL. It is hard to lump two different sizes into one garment and kind of expect it to fit everyone, especially with different body types and proportions chest sizes, bust sizes, etc. But for me personally, it's a great fit. So this is quickly becoming my new favorite. I still really love the vest, but I feel like this one is just, it's like me. I just love the purple. And now I feel like all of my 60s, 70s, 80s dreams are just coming true. I love it. Next up for the last outfit, I actually got a matching set. I saw this and I was like, 
yeah, that's right up my alley. In case you didn't know, sweats are basically just a part of my wardrobe at this point. Like I love a good sweat set. I actually would like to start a petition to just only wear sweats and lounge wear for the rest of life. Like we really don't need to wear jeans again, you know, it's not necessary. So I purchased this set, which is called the Winona set, I believe. No, it's not. This is called the Winona crew neck. So that's the top part and then the Beck bell bottom pant. And these do match, so I thought they'd be cute to do as a set together. Again, it is very pricey. Like I just need to make sure I keep mentioning that. It is not the most affordable thing in the entire world, but it is very cute. So, okay, here we have it. I believe, yes, I got this sweatshirt in a 2XL just because I wanted it to be a bit oversized. And this is kind of giving me early 2000s Juicy Couture vibes. And I can say that because I was like in high school when that happened. I'm getting so old, it literally hurts. Super cute, love the color blocking. And then the pants, I just got these in an XL because I want them to fit like my normal pants would. And so on the front here, we have this like ivory cream color with the pink. Oh, and I like this on the back. It has the same little tag, that's cute. And then on the back, we have green. So it's kind of like a two-tone thing. I don't know how high-waisted these are gonna be. They do look a little short, but I, that's just me eyeballing it. And I also like the fact that these both have like a kind of terry cloth accent on them, like on the waistband on the pants, like this baby pink or bubblegum pink terry cloth. And then the same around the collar of the crew neck. It's very like, towel feeling, you know? Judging based off of like first feel, these aren't very soft at all, I will say. Like, I don't know if they're meant to be like super buttery soft. They're pretty thin, which is kind of what I wanted. I don't want something to be like super duper thick because again, live in a hot climate, we all know that. It's just not super soft on the inside. It kind of just feels like a towel. Like if you were to buy a towel before you go to the beach and like not wash it yet, that's kind of what it feels like. I don't know, maybe it'll soften up after I wash it a little bit. I'm sure that'll happen, but I'm dying to see what these look like on, so let's throw them on. All right, so this one is actually cute. Like I do like it, but I do, again, have some thoughts. The first pro that I will point out is these are very, very long sleeves. So I really, really love that and appreciate that as opposed to the sweater where the sleeves were a bit shorter. These are like ideal. In fact, if you had short arms, like I feel like they might fit like this on you. But for me with long arms, this is so perfect. I love the colors. I actually noticed that the terry cloth accent is on the little like cuffs of the sleeves as well. So I like that. I think it's an adorable sweater. I will say again, it's like, if you're a 2XL, this probably, I mean, it would just be tight. Not super tight to the point where you couldn't wear it, but not a little bit slouchy, like that kind of sweatshirt look that you would go for. So keep that in mind if you are looking to buy this piece, but I really love the colors. I really love the sleeve length. I love the way it fits. I'm super glad I sized up. It's not the softest material on the inside. Like it does feel kind of rough. And I will say that I am pretty sensitive when it comes to that, especially things on my skin. Like I cannot chafe. I'm miserable if I chafe. I can't have like tags rubbing the back of my shirt. I will literally rip them out and rip a hole in my garment. I'm very, very sensitive when it comes to my clothing. So keep that in mind. It might not bother you at all, but if you are sensitive like me, it does feel slightly rough and it's not to the point where I don't think I could wear it, but I just have really sensitive skin. So I thought I would mention that. And then the pants, they're just, they're not super long. So I could wear them more low-waisted, which I'm wondering if that's kind of like the way they're meant to be worn. It's more low-waisted like that. I'm not super down for the low-waist trend. I think that you should do whatever makes you happy and whatever kind of jeans or pants or underwear or whatever it is you want to wear, I say go for it. But I am just not huge into the low-rise thing. It's just not how I feel most comfortable. I think maybe that's the way these are supposed to be worn because if I do wear them high-waisted, like how I would want to wear them, their high waters on me. For reference, I'm about like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so I guess I'm like average to slightly above average. For my tall babes out there, don't know if this would be the best option unless you like them low rise. They're a very cute pair of pants. I just don't love the way they fit me personally. If they were a bit longer, like this would be a bomb outfit, but I just don't really know what to do about the length situation and I just don't love 
the way they look and feel down here. I do really like all of the details, like the patch here, the patch here, the cute little tie, the terry cloth, like a lot of thought and care went into making these. So I'm really not trying to just write it off immediately and be like, ugh, because it's not my personal style, I don't give it a perfect 10 out of 10. Like I really do appreciate the artistry and the craftsmanship and everything that went into these pieces. And I recognize that that's why they are at a higher price point. But I do have one more item. It's an accessory and I'm very excited about it. Okay, and last but not least, as we know, I am not capable of turning down a tote bag. We all, I mean, I feel like it's just common fact at this point. And I saw this tote bag come on. I saw this tote bag and knew I couldn't live without it. It is a cow print. I really love it. It has a little tiny itty bitty spot right here where it says got. I hope you can see that, but I love anything cow print recently. I have a cute little cow print jacket over here. I feel like, oh my god, I feel like cow print is definitely having its moment. It's revival in the year 2021 and I'm so here for it. Even in like honestly 2019 and 2020, it's just been very trendy lately and I love it. So yes, I do have quite a few tote bags but I love them. I use them for things like the farmer's market, thrifting, grocery shopping, beach slash pool outings. These are all things that I'm not currently doing, but hopefully we'll be doing very soon. So that I'm never going to not need a tote bag. So this is great. I would say of anything, this is the most affordable item, obviously, because it's a tote bag and affordable I use lightly. But at first I was like, I don't know if I like the fact that this is more of a kind of like cream color than white, but I actually kind of do now because thinking about this getting dirty the cream color I think will weather a lot better than if it was like a bright white so I'm into it catch me at your local thrift store in 2021 with my cute little cow print bag how adorable so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have mixed opinions? What was your favorite item, if any? Would you purchase from this brand? Everything that I mentioned in this video, as always, is gonna be linked in the description box below. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.